do not be deceived. James 3, verse 1. My brethren, fellow believers, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we teachers shall receive a stricter judgment through a higher accountability by Jesus Christ himself. Romans 16, verses 17 and 18. Now I urge you, brethren, fellow believers, note those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which you learned, and avoid them. For those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but serve their own belly through Satan. And by smooth words through Satan and flattering speech through Satan, deceive the hearts of the simple through Satan. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 4 and 12 through 15. For if he, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who comes, preaches another Jesus, i.e. false prophets with false doctrines, whom we believers have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit other than the Holy Spirit, which you have not received, or a different gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ, which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. For what I believers do, I will also continue to do, that I may cut off the opportunity from those false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are, as sharing the truth of God Almighty in the false things of which they boast. For such are false apostles, false teachers, deceitful workers, false believers, transforming themselves into false apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into a false angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing of his ministers, the fallen angels and demons also, transform themselves into false ministers of righteousness, whose end will be in the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation, according to their works, Satan's evil deeds performed through them. Galatians 1 verses 7b through 9. But there are some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers who trouble you, fellow believers, and who want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we actually false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, or a false angel from heaven, actually Satan, the fallen angels and demons, preach any other gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ to you, fellow believers, then what we believers have preached to you, let him be accursed to the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation. As we believers have said before, so now I say again, if anyone, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, preaches any other gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ to you, fellow believers, then what you have received through the Holy Spirit, let him be accursed to the lake of fire, the second death, everlasting condemnation. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 and 2. Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, specially says that in latter times some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will depart from the faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, giving heed, paying close attention to deceiving spirits through Satan, and doctrines of demons through Satan, speaking lies and hypocrisy through Satan, having their own conscience seared with the hot iron by Satan. 1 Timothy 6 verses 3 to 5a. If anyone, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, teaches otherwise, other than the gospel of Jesus Christ, and does not consent to wholesome words, the Holy Bible, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which accords with godliness, he, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed through Satan with disputes and arguments over words, from which come, through Satan, envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds through Satan, and destitute of the truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 6, verses 20b to 21a. Guard what was committed to your trust, the truth, i.e. the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, avoiding the profane and idle babblings and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge, by professing that some false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers have strayed concerning the faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 2, verses 16 to 17a. But shun profane and idle babblings of false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, for they will increase to more ungodliness through Satan, and their message will spread like cancer through Satan. 2 Timothy 4, verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, 
will not endure sound doctrine, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ. But according to their own desires through Satan, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves false teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ, and be turned aside to fables through Satan. Second Peter 2 verses 1b through 2 Even as there will be false teachers among you, fellow believers, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies through Satan, even denying the Lord Jesus Christ who bought them with his own blood, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers will follow their destructive ways through Satan, because of whom the way of truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the gospel of Jesus Christ, will be blasphemy. Ephesians 4 verses 4 through 6. There is one body, the body of Christ, and one spirit, the Holy Spirit, just as you, fellow believers, were called to be children of God Almighty, in one hope of your calling, one Lord Jesus Christ, one faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, one baptism with the Holy Spirit, one God and Father of all, God Almighty, who is above all and through all and in you all, fellow believers. 2 Timothy 3, verses 16 and 17. All Scripture, the Holy Bible, the Old Testament, 39 books, the New Testament, 27 books, for a total of 66 books, is given by inspiration of God, God Almighty breathed, and God Almighty inspired, and alone is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God, all believers, may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. God Almighty's good works performed through us. Fellow believers, the Holy Bible is the only text of God Almighty's word in written form. Therefore, those false teachers claiming to have divinely received additional doctrine outside of the Holy Bible, a.k.a. pseudo-Christian teachings, are at best false apostles through Satan, and at worst false prophets through Satan, but either way completely deceived by Satan himself. These pseudo-Christian groups include, but are not limited to, Roman Catholicism, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventist, Christian Science, The Way, and many, many more. Remember, Jesus Christ abides within us through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ walks with us, the Holy Spirit teaches us, and most importantly, God Almighty watches over us. Always. Amen.